hello friends welcome to made by yuma uh, your crochet channel uh, i'm so glad that you are here today in today's tutorial we are going to see a beautiful and simple very simple crochet flower with beads uh, this is absolutely for beginners and before that i would request you to subscribe to my channel if you are are interested in my videos and future projects and please click on the bell icon to get notified of any new projects so let's get started uh, we would need an acrylic yarn or any cotton yarn and the recommended hoop that is uh, available for your yarn so here I am taking 2.5 mm crochet hook and you would also need another 0.4 mm crochet hook. This is uh, towards the end of the project for inserting the bead into the crochet yarn. And we would also need scissors and some beads to finish off the project. So first let's get started by taking the tail end of the yarn and make sure you leave about five to six inches long and then start your project so like this start from here and bring the yarn around your index finger like an x i'm just going to do it slowly now so this should form an x shape and you can hold the tail end with the other three fingers now insert the hook beneath the x mark and then grab the yarn and pull the yarn through the loop now hold it with your right hand and then adjust the loop then yarn over and pull through that loop so this forms a magic ring so let me do it one more time so take the tail end and bring it around your index finger then insert the hook grab the yarn pull through the loop and make a chain here this is to secure the magic magic ring so this completes the magic ring so from here our pattern is going to start start making chain 2 chain 1 and chain 2 next make a double crochet for double crochet you have to yarn over insert into the loop and grab the yarn now we have three loops on the hook so yarn over pull through the first two loops and then yarn over pull through the last two loops so this completes a double crochet next we have to make one more double crochet the same way we just did yarn over insert the hook into the loop grab the yarn now we have three loops yarn over pull through the first two loops and then yarn over pull through the remaining two loops then we have to make two chains this is chain one and chain two so now do a slip stitch that is insert the hook into the loop grab the yarn and pull through that one loop we have So this is a slip stitch. So this completes one petal of the flower. As you can see here, you just have to uh, bring the slip stitch towards the double crochet. Just a little push there. And then we can compare it with the petals we have in the flowers. So we have to make four more petals here. The same way we just did. Chain two chain 1 and chain 2 then make 2 double crochet here 
this is the first double crochet and second double crochet then two chains here and then a slip stitch into the loop just a little push towards double crochet and we completed two petals here so I'm gonna make one more here and show two chains and two double crochet into the loop so first double crochet and then the second double crochet then two chains and a slip stitch so we can give a little pull from the tail end so that the flower shrinks a little bit and we have we can comfortably make the other two petals here so i'm going to make two more petals and i will meet you at the other end so here i am just going to finish the fifth petal let us chain two and then make a slip stitch so with this our simple and uh, beautiful flower is complete just pull the yarn to about two inches let's pull the tail end just leave the working yarn and pull the tail end as tight as possible just shrink the flower as much as you can you can see then we can adjust it to be little loose now you can now we have to insert the bead here so before that let's cut the working yarn so you can use a sewing needle to insert the bead into the thread or you can just uh, insert the bead with your fingers but that is little difficult so, so this is the front part of the uh, flower so insert the hook into the magic circle the center part and make sure the tail end is pulled very tightly and bring the tail end to the front side I'll just show you how to insert it just take the bead and insert the bead into the 0.4 mm crochet hook and then grab the yarn the tail end yarn over the yarn and pull through the bead this is an easy way of inserting bead into the uh, yarn now insert the hook from the flip side and bring the yarn through the magic circle now we have the bead at the center part so just pull the tail end very tightly and we have this uh, fifth petals end right the tail end on the other side just bring it to the flip side and secure it very tightly like two or three times you can do that just make sure that both the tail ends are pulled very tightly and you can just cut off the excess yarn or if you are going to use it on a crochet dress project or to decorate some collars or baby dress you can just leave the yarn as such and use that yarn to stitch it to the dress so here I am just cutting off the edges I mean the tail ends and now that our beautiful flower is ready I hope you like this tutorial and you'll be trying it at your home. Please share it with your friends and family. If you really like this video, please hit the like button and also subscribe to my channel for more videos. Have a blessed day ahead. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.